Hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for being so, so consistent. And thank you so much for the love that you're showing me on this um, Ganta trip, you know, the videos, the likes, the comments, the views. I am just really excited and I'm grateful for your support. Thank you so, so much. Sadly, this video is the last of the videos that I'm going to post from Ganta. I am getting ready to leave um, Ganta today, but I have a few things to discuss. So talk about places that you can visit in Ganta, some of the things that I experienced on this side. Is Ganta City really, 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 really Ganta City? The way they can really talk about it. Uh, what did I like? What did I dislike? And all those things. So this conversation is going to be really, really, really interesting. I'm hoping that it will be. <laughs> If you're new here, hit the subscribe button, tap the notifications bell, and let us just get right into it. So first of all, when I started planning this trip to Ganta, one thing on my mind was the Nima Mountain. I really wanted to visit the Nima Mountain, and I wanted to visit um, the Meme Lake that is in Sanikwele, and the Nima Mountain is in Yekepa. But when I got to um, when I got to Ganta. Certain things happen. I couldn't um, visit the Nima Mountain, but that's going to that's going to unfold later in the conversation. So um, I left Cardwell, so I had to leave Cardwell to go red light. So yeah, here is a trick. Um, whenever you're visiting Nima Ganta, Nima Ganta, <laughs> um, Bon County or Magibi, so. When you go in the morning, you'll go as early as 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. Now you have to wait for others that will go there at 12 p.m. So um, I went a little late. I went like 10, 10, 9. The moment I got there, I was the last passenger. So I didn't have to wait so long. And it was really, really, really cool. Um, unlike the Gwanga trip, dear Lord, I was there at 6 a.m. And they kept me waiting till 12 p.m. I wanted to cry. <laughs> but I couldn't blame the driver. He was looking for passengers. Since the road is like really, really, really long, he needed passengers in order to take the trip. So um, it cost 1,800 LD to come to Nimba. And that is 12 United States dollars. Now, um, when I got to Nimba, I am staying at the Hilltop Guest House. It's nice, it's comfy, and it is affordable as well. Um, so I got it to come here. I found a bike board. Now, this is, this is funny, right? So I found this bike board, and he was really nice. So I was like, let me just take your number. Since people warn me about um, staying out late at night, that I need to know someone who's going to take me around. So I was like, let me take your number. I took his number, everything. After I logged into the guest house, I freshened up everything. I called him and he took me to the local market. We even did some videos there and then we left. I think you saw that video. And then the ring caught up with us. So um, we had to wait. That was not a mean thing. That was nature thing. So um, we left after the rain slowed down, and he carried me to the border, the border, Guinea border. There is this food place. They sell GB. They sell food, but the only thing the lady can cook that meat, dry meat, right? So <laughs> I really want to eat dry meat. So I went there. I bought the food. With my money and I called him we ate I bought like we ate everything and then we left and then he carried me to Advino because I think you saw the interview I did with the CEO of Advino um, Mr. Howard was leaving to go Moruda the next day so I had to do the interview with him I think around 8 7 p.m. And then the following day, I did videos of the building. So the guy, the bike boy carried me there. And then he brought me back to Hilltop um, Guest House. 
Now, um, he charged me a fee and I gave him more than what he charged me because I had USD and I didn't have that much in LD. So I gave him 10 others and he owed me 500 LD. Now, the next day, I had to visit Bowie Farms. At first, I thought um, Bowie Farms, the interview or whatever I was going to do, the tour was going to last for an hour. But then um, I went there. It was beautiful. They had like 150 acres of land. I mean, it takes a lot for you to just go around. And then the farm is, I think, on 30-something acres of land. So um, it took a while for us to just go through everything. So I, I came back. Um, I left the farm around 11. And then we went to the border. We swallowed chibi. And then I had to take some pictures next to the St. John River. So um, Josephus and Prince from Fowey Farms, they took me there. They talked to the immigration people in their lab to take pictures on the bridge. And then we left from there. When we left from there, um, Josephus dropped us to Ganta Main Road. And then he went back to the farm. So Prince and I, we went to LICC because Prince graduated with um, a degree in agriculture. So he took me there to see their mini zoo, which is really, 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 really amazing. I loved it. So, so beautiful. By the way, um, all of the videos and all of the things that I mentioned, I'm going to leave the links to the videos in the description um, box. So you can just go there, you watch the videos and have yourself yeah, and have a good time. <laughs> the plan was to reach out to this bike bar by 12 p.m. And then we're going to visit the Nima Mountain and the Man Mid Lake. So the Man Mid Lake is just like right on the road in San Nicola. If you get past by it to go to the Nima Mountain, from what I've heard and from what he told me. So he charged me $20, 1500 to go. That is $10 and 1,500 to bring me back. So um, a friend of mine from Morovia told me that the distance is actually like really far and it cost a lot. So I didn't really argue with the bike ball or anything on that. So I was supposed to reach out to him by 12, but then because of the fun and because of the LICC and I've been on videos that I, that I was doing, um, I didn't reach out to him. So he texted me at 3 p.m. saying, oh, he just got his phone from my charge. So I was like, okay, thank God I didn't even <laughs> think about going to the Nima Mountain again because it would have been really late. And thank God um, I didn't think about going because imagine calling him and then his phone is just ringing, 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 or his phone is switched off because he left it on charge. So I called him around six because I wanted to get a video of I've been to the hotel at night and to also visit the bar. I called him and I said, Come to Angel Hilltop Guest House, pick me up um, by 8 p.m. and take me to Avino. I just get like a short clip, it won't take more than five minutes, and then you can bring me back to the guest house. And then I asked him how much. And then he told me, anything you want to give me, or how to do. So I was like, where do? So the 500 that you get from me, let's do the calculation. So let us just say because of me, you're not taking passenger from wherever you are to come to Angel Hilltop Hotel. Let us just call that 100 LD. And then from Angel Hilltop gets also as in a hotel. Is that 100 LD? He said yes. And then I said, okay. Let's just say the five minutes you're sitting for is either you go run for the five minutes or you can take 300 for the five minutes. And then the other 100 LD to bring me back because you owe me 500. It's like, I'm, I'm, being, I'm being a nice person. I am genuinely nice. So I don't understand why he would try to trick me or anything like that. Weirdly. And then he said, you know now you have to you have to buy me water. I have to buy you water. Says who? Is it because um I bought food and we ate together? So did I just did I just cross a line? Did I not set a boundary? So this is something that I'm going to do whenever I'm visiting any other place. Like 
I just want to associate with people in that manner because I think it crosses a boundary and they think you owe them something. So 8 p.m. I got dressed up, everything. I was here waiting at the guest house. He did not come. Yeah, you're hearing me. He did not come. So somebody told me, just go to find a bag and go to Avino Hotel and then you can come back. Maybe the ball just running late, but you don't have time because it's actually late. It's actually risky at night. And even in Morovia, I don't stay out late. I don't like it. So imagine somewhere that I don't know. So um, I got on my bike and then I found out that from Inja Hilltop to Avino, it is 50 LD. Can you believe that? And that boy told me 100 LD. So um, I went to Avino, I did a video, everything. I came back and since it has been eight, 10 hours, that people so now call me here. And I'm not even calling him. The fact that he has 500 LD for me, he will never call me. The moment you give people money that they get for you, <laughs> they think so funny. The moment you give somebody money and you don't want it to disturb you or anything, just credit them. They won't even come to you because instead of paying your money, instead of giving your money back, they will be hiding from you. So, enough about the bag boy. Now, let us talk about hotels and guest houses. So, I went online. I'm this kind of person, even if I'm visiting a restaurant, I like to look at a menu online, set a budget and everything. According to my friend, I am worse than a management student. <laughs> but I'll take it. So, on um, my went online, I made a few calls. I did some research and I saw some really amazing um, hotels, guest houses that I really wanted to reach out to. And I did find out their prices and then I found Angel Hilltop. It just fit my budget. I I wanted to stay with someone a friend knew. But then I realized that the same thing happened to me in Bon County. It really do I appreciate it. But I wanna be independent in a way that I don't know someone here and I'm just figuring things out as I go. And it has been amazing so far. I didn't know people when I was coming here, but then I got to know people while here, and I did a lot of amazing videos with some of the people that I met here. So um, I found Inja Hilltop, and I paid 20 USD per night. So um, I think I did a video when I did the Let Us Go Ganta. I did a video of the room. So there's a bathroom there's a fan there's a table um there's a stuff there to hang your clothes and i actually made use of that it was really cool and there's this bed it's really nice um okay so these are the things that come with the 50 20 usd room i don't know um what else is coming with other rooms but i know what is coming with this room and they have running water as well also, um, the 20 USD breakfast is not included. No food is included. But um, they really cook amazing food. They have a mean... Okay, I'm not allowed to say the word. <laughs> they have a mean um, fried rice. It's really, really, really yummy. I just had it before making this video. That's why you see me. I'm glowing. <laughs> so, um, funny thing. When I was doing research for the hotel to stay at, I found this cute um, guest house. I reached out to them and I said, oh, um, I'm a content creator. Almost the same thing with Quattaloo Waterfalls. Um, I would like to be hosted. This is what I do. And the person reached out to me, telling me how um, they congratulated me on the content that I'm creating. And they want me they would like to host me so on one condition though mind you um per night it is 50 usd and we're just talking about one night i said i hosted for a night so they were going to host me for a night i was going to tour the um, hotel talk about the night life talk about the day life everything talk about how it feels like to stay at the hotel so um the person told me on one condition, uh, I have to 
why do I, yeah so i have to come back again be it next year or the year after next once they have completed the other building that they're doing construction work on right now i have to come back to do a video and then when i hit 15k subscribers i have to come back to do a video of their of their hotel guest house so i was like oh wow and mind you it is just because they're hosting me for one night 50 usd and i am also interviewing them now that i have three k subscribers i'm interviewing them i'm doing a tour of their restaurant their hotel everything i'm posting it on youtube i'm posting it on facebook and on instagram and on tiktok and they still have and they still have um all these terms and regulations um what i'm supposed to do after a few years when i hit um 15 case of travels and i was like nah i can only come back here when you're done with your construction if you're willing to sponsor the video um pay pay my way um host me and then pay for the video that way i can do it because seriously and here i am in ganja having a fun time at Inja Hilltop. It's been nice so far. So so the, the few things I really liked about being in Ganta is the fact that one um people here are friendly. I think that cuts across the whole Liberia. People are friendly. Because um the guys at Kowi fans, they did not just stop after I interviewed them. They even took me to the border, they talked to immigration, and I was able to take pictures on the St. John Bridge. And they carried me to Swallow GB, and then Prince went as far as taking me to LICC and giving me just another new video idea, which is amazing. So um, another thing I like about the area is the food. So the GBA is amazing. I feel like when I leave and go back to Morovia, I'm just I'm just going to compare every GB that I will see in Morovia and it's going to be second hand. Because imagine GB only dry meat. Like, man. So um another thing I like is the fact that so I use MTN internet a lot because of their packages and because of what I do on YouTube. Um so I use MTN a lot. So um and in Morovia, Digzil. Isn't it all that strong or anything? I think once I even put my phone in the freezer <laughs> because I was frustrated. But um, surprisingly, MTN works really, really well in Ganza, and that is something that I liked about being here. So um, something I dislike is the fact that you just never know who to trust, and I think that is mainly because it's a new place. Ah. Uh, this is my first time really coming here to do content like this. So maybe that's the reason why. And yeah. And what happened with that bad boy? I mean, I just thought that this is someone that, that is down to earth. This is someone who's nice and uh, reliable. And then that happened. So I'm just, in a way, I'm grateful that I didn't even take the risk to visit the Nima Mountain and the Man Man Lake with him because you just never know. But it was kind of nice though. I was really, really close to Guinea. I, was, I just wanted to, I just wanted to go, go to Guinea. <laughs> but altogether, this trip has been really amazing, and it's kind of, it's kind of funny, right? Besides the whole thing that happened at the checkpoint, it has been, it has been good. I had a fun time. I came here looking pretty. I'm going back looking pretty like more um you know what i can say prettier than when i can <laughs> and i'm going back with more experience so um these videos have been pushing me out of my comfort zone and i really really like that when i visited the market i had to explain to market women what i do i had to show them some of my videos and i really 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 enjoy doing that even though they did not agree to be in the videos, but they allowed me to do videos of their market and to take pictures and my chest. 
and i love you all so much for the support so thank you all so much for watching this video thank you all for being consistent if you're new yet don't forget to hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell so thank you all so much for watching this video love you all bye bye